Well, hello everyone, I'm back, the new proud American conservative, yes, with more important info not too many of you can stomach. Uh, the word is out, bikers for Trump are on their way to Seattle, but listen to this when you uh, read the article, it says the estimated arrival time is July 4th, which is today's June 13th, 2020, so that is three weeks from today. We all know what happened in just in 24 hours. So again, uh, you got all the big uh, conservative channels, uh, all the QAnons, uh, et cetera, uh, posting, um, you know, funny memes of get your popcorn ready. I mean, at this point, <laughs> you're probably sitting at 2,000 pounds uh, heavy from all the popcorn, from Durham probe, to Horowitz probe, to Barr probe, to indictments are unsealed, they're coming. Um, so even now this, when you think there is some hope maybe for uh, some innocent uh, citizens to be saved from uh, these uh, lunatics, as nobody's doing anything about it, including the president who continues to tweet law and order, um, it goes to show you you have to be your own security, you have to be your own bank, you cannot trust anyone. Um, these tweets are not helping the situation from the president at all. Uh, Commander-in-chief is supposed to um, protect its citizens from all uh, enemies, terrorists, foreign and domestic. So not everyone in Seattle is okay with you know, having a block party. <laughs> of six blocks taken away by anarchists, Satanists, you name it. Um, this is incredible what is going on. So, but yeah, you know, in three weeks, here we go, you know, bikers for Trump are gonna save the day, I guess. So we're gonna wait for that and keep eating popcorn. And then when it happens or it doesn't happen, we're gonna have another bag ready because uh, Durham probe is coming to an end while more cities are literally burning to the ground and criminals are taking control of the United States of America. So, um, wow, I, I really hope some good news come out uh, soon. I believe uh, a lot of good people, a lot of real patriots really want to help, but they are so afraid because everyone knows we have two-tiered just justice system here in America and people are just afraid to be locked up. They got families. Uh, they can go out there and, um, you know, try to protect, like I said, someone who's being attacked and whatnot, and uh, they're going to do time. But those who are stealing Rolex watches as they are protesting and Nike shoes, um, breaking into uh, small people businesses it doesn't matter who is the owner black white Asian they're just stealing whatever uh, they can but this is where we're at uh, unfortunately you haven't seen anything yet uh, let's see what tomorrow brings I'm gonna do my video on uh, some trading stuff if someone is interested to but for right now remember again I'll say it one more time be your own security be your own bank bet against the debt bet against the dollar because the dollar is betting against you yes you still have to have the dollar if you can no matter what that amount is five hundred dollars fifty thousand dollars a half a million five million you gotta have it but it's gotta be diversified in some hard tangible assets because the dollar can tank tomorrow meaning your purchasing power is gone okay zimbabwe it happens, okay, it happens. In, it happened in Venezuela. They were a very wealthy country not a long time ago, and now they are looking into garbage cans to eat food, okay? So don't be complacent. God bless you all. And uh, someone, please uh, tweet president, someone with big conservative account, please let him know. Let's go. The longer he waits, the harder it's gonna be to, to, to do anything about this mess. Take care.